Uh, hello, my name is Avyu Nagrat, and this is my final project that I coded in Pygame. I made a replica of Pac-Man with some of my own uh, creative flair added to it. So the user is prompted by a uh, tutorial screen, kind of, where it says press enter to start, good luck. It gives the user the controls, it tells the user how the scoring works, etc. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. When we press enter, the game will start. Um, the goal of the game is to get as many points as possible in each phase. There are three phases, and a phase will go to the next phase when the 60-second timer has gone to zero. So the goal is to just get um, as many points as possible to place highly on the leaderboard. And the way you get points is actually one of... There's three ways to do it. The first way is to pick up these white dots that you see on the map. They do not respawn. Um, the second way is to pick up the fruits on the map. They also do not respawn. But the thing that the fruits also do is they allow you to eat the ghosts for a brief amount of time, being 10 seconds, right? And you get a lot of uh, score from eating the ghosts. So as you can see here, if I actually collide with one of the ghosts while um, the they are not vulnerable from the fruit, I will lose a life and I will be respawned. So it is important to keep in mind that if you lose all of your lives in the phase, then the game will be over. But the, the lives do restart at the end of the, every phase. So you will get three per phase. So as you can see here, we're on the second map now. <laughs> Put a little bit of my own artistic flair on it. I made a smiley face. And yeah, these map spawns are completely uh, planned. It's not RNG. These maps are pre-created, and there are three of them in total. And uh, as you can see, the movement of the ghosts, while it is not following Pac-Man, they are somewhat natural still due to the way I coded them. Although it does use RNG, so it's just a random factor, basically, on where the ghosts are going to go. But they can only change direction every seven turns, so they won't jitter. So yeah, right there we get, uh, we lose a life. And I am just going to finish up level two and three, and I will get back to you. Yeah, it looks like we're just about finishing the third phase of the game. The timer is running down. And, okay. So now we will go to the console, where it has prompted us, what is your name? So let me put in test for the time being. And as you can see there, the leaderboard flashed for a second. There are some complications with uh, the way this works that I was unable, unable to fix. I One cannot blit uh, because it's going from... Input back to Pi game, the program crashes, and two, if I keep the program up for too long without immediately closing it, then unfortunately it crashes remote desktop for me. So one thing you can do is you can go into the root folder and actually look for the leaderboard text file, and boom, you'll see, you'll be able to see the, it unfortunately isn't sorted, but that's just a product of the circumstance I was giving. But yeah, that is my final project and thank you for watching.